Hi, Kerry here from My Cloud Bookkeeping. Did you know that you can customize the invoices that you send to your customers and clients? You can have different logos, you can change the color scheme, different template options. You can even change what you include in the invoice so that you can show different details for different types of customers. Let's have a look and I'll show you how it's done. Here we are in the sample company. Let's select invoicing for the top right here. You can see down the bottom here we have the option to customize. We're going to choose new style. Let's name this customized invoice. Okay. Now the first option we have is to change up the template. Let's have a look and see what the choices are. You can see as we select them here, they're displayed on the right hand side. So we can go through, decide what we like the look of the most. And for this example, we're going to go with fresh. Now for the logo, as you can see, the sample company logo is already in use here. You can select a different logo. If you're in your live file, you upload it and save it here. You can also change the size and the positioning of the logo. We can make it small. We can move it to the left, put it in the middle, back to the right, medium size, back to large, on the left, wherever, whatever you decide looks best for what you're working with. Then we can change the colors so that it ties in with whatever branding that you have, probably with your logo. So try some green, here we have purple, all sorts of different options, A different green, just just play around and I actually kind of have a little bit of fun doing this and making sure we get it to look exactly how you'd like. You can also change the font. So let's see. Oh, that looks hideous. Uh, let's go for Helvetica here and then we can increase the size. Just if you're going to have a lot of information on your invoice, you probably don't want it to be a larger font, but you can make it look once again, customize it. So the next option we have is for the content. This is split into three different sections. So we can choose the top section here and have a look at the fields that are up here. Have a look and see what fields show up as being available for this section. We can select or deselect any of these that we want and it will change once again. You can watch the changes just along as we do it. You can add custom fields. So if there's information you're tracking within your business or your sales cycle and you have any custom fields set up, you can have them appear on your invoice as well. Now the second third enables you to edit what you're selling and the way that appears on the invoice. So we can take away the quantity, for example, we can add the tax rate, and also we have the option for some activity options. You may want to be showing um, activity by week and what employee carried out the work. Perhaps you have billable expenses and you want to show a markup to lie, tie in with contract. Whatever it is that makes sense for your business, you choose that. Now, the bottom third is where you show the total and any messages to your clients. So we're going to make a, a little change here so you can see what that looks like. There we go. Let's have a look. It shows up right here. We can see exactly what we've done. There's also an option to put uh, things at the bottom center, bottom center information. Okay, it shows up down here. Uh, there'll be another video to follow up with uh, GST HST number. This is the box I'm referring to in that video when I say you can type it to appear down below. And then we have the option to look at the standard emails. Now this is the email that would go out when you email the invoice to the customer. So here we go. Here's your invoice. We appreciate your prompt payment. You might want to add something else in here. Oh, it's great working with you. Oh, gosh, typing again. With you. Um, I usually like to put dear first name. I don't like dear full name. So you could just play around with that to get it to say whatever you'd like. Then there's the reminder email. So if your clients haven't paid you, you can send out the reminder. And here's the wording. You could write, you please pay me quickly or whatever you wanted to go in there would work. The last option is for payments. This is for enabling your clients to pay through the QuickBooks payments program. That's something you can set up from the COG as well. Uh, it's if they pay by credit card. It's actually usually very good rates and you get paid very quickly. It's quite an efficient way to do that, but we won't be doing that here. Once you're happy with the design and the content of your, of your invoice, you can click done and that will be saved. So let's use this new template. So let's grab um, Benjamin Young. Uh, 
once again, sample company. So it's whatever we have in here is what I'm using. Here we go, 5,000. Uh, make sure that we're using our customized invoice. And we're gonna print or preview. Oh gosh, I always get caught on that when I'm doing this. There we go, the tax rate. Now we can print or preview. You can see we have that smaller logo. We have the different color. We have the large font. Thanks for your business, blaring across there. Uh, we don't have the quantity, we do have the rate. And then we have this bottom center information. Everything we customized is showing up here on this invoice. So now if we put in a fake info, a fake email address, we can have a look and see what happens when we save and send. Dear Benjamin, first name only. Oh, misspelled, it was great working with you. I must have done that wrong on the template if you don't do that. <laughs> and then you can just hit send and close. Of course, it won't send because we're in the sample company. But that will save you time when you want to send out to your customers. You can create as many different templates as you want. You just rename them the different versions and you're ready to go. I hope you have fun with all those different options and design the perfect invoice for your business. If this was useful, click like, subscribe to my channel. Also, there's a link below where you can sign up for a, a small business checklist to help you get your books in order every month. And it'll get you in my newsletter. So I'll send out QuickBooks updates, different apps I'm trying, hopefully some useful information. And if there's anything else you'd like to know about, do make a note in the comments below, send me a message. My next video could be for you. Cheers.